it in one block apart from it. Yeah. Not like that. And then what else you'll need is stone bricks, stone brick stairs, cobblestone, black stained glass, campfire, polished and andesite slabs and smooth stone slabs. Yeah. Wait, I forgot one thing, which is which is dark oak trap doors. Yeah. Mm. Now let's carry on. We'll need our cobblestone to do this. And right right there. If I was gonna be clever if I had first put the cobblestone instead. Yeah. Uh in implant for you have to wait here. You just gotta do this. It's done. Yeah. Now you'll need to also dig up some yeah, this ain't going so well, is it? Yeah, and then you gotta take your campfires right over there. And then take your black stained glass right over here on top. You gotta crack, remember about that or not. Good. Yeah, and then you gotta take your dark oak trap doors, put them right over here on this side too. And then voila, it's done. So not really. Now we gotta put the stone there brick walls right over there to that side move that to a climate clumsy uh -huh. and then take your smooth stone slabs right over there right over there to here and here yeah now you might also need your stone brick to do this your, yeah your stone brick stairs do that them upside down and then now it looks like all these smokes are coming to join one and I don't know why I can see that that doesn't make any sense yeah mm -hmm. after that it's simple you just gotta now mm. take your uh, stone brick stairs again and do this join them into one big tube after that just take one day as a, as a scaffolding or like a, just a block which is not going to be there and then carry on doing this and then right over there and then you're done yeah it's quite good and then afterwards you gotta put your stone bricks like this and then just join them up till uh, as high as you would want them to actually go yeah about this will be nearly fine and good. Yeah. Then you just gotta put your stone bricks in like that. And then do the same thing you've done down there. And then also do this. Like this. Right over there. Right over there. And then do that one. Two, and then done! Yay! Even now you gotta take your polished and endocyte slabs and do this. But now there's no smoke coming out. That's why you've gotta take something which is known as hay bale. Yeah. Mm, hay bale. Find, find, find hay bale. I'll just save myself. Hey. Yeah. So that. And it's done. Smoke is coming out. Mm -hmm. Then that's it. Okay, now we come to our fifth and last video. Uh, I mean, oh. our last. Um, what can I say? Build. Yeah. Now to do this, it's simple. And if you didn't notice, this is a volcano. Spewing out from. The deep, deep unders of below. I don't know if that made sense. But anyway, let's just carry on. You gotta be simple. In this, it takes more of like a natural type of building. You don't really have to do it with actual shapes. You just gotta splat all your blocks everywhere to make it a little circular. To make it look much more natural, like right over here. And I think this is becoming too big. Yeah, like what I'm doing right over here. Just gotta cone it up. Yeah, and then 
there's your shape of your volcano even though it's slightly bigger and then the rest is kind of simple and for this i'm gonna have to put it on hyperleaps yeah Okay, now since your volcano shape will be done and guys um it's quite simple it's not that hard i know it may look a little bit big and gigantuan but it's not it's really simple anyway you gotta put your lava inside the volcano okay this might take a little while again so I'm just gonna find where you Okay, now, um, I know what you're wondering, why they throw it over here? Well, trust me, there is lava below this. Yeah, but I put the dirt so I can put some campfires right over there. And so that there could be some smoke activity going on. Okay, we have to pass now. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, never mind. As I said, campfires are going on. Like this. And then right over the campfire, you can just put the lava. Yeah, and it should be spilling out like that. And then you can put some of the campfire somewhere on other areas like this. Just like there. And like that. Right over there. And then you got your lava going on. And the lava is going off different courses, so you could have just do, done this. Like right over here, to direct it to where you want it to go. Oh, you could also do this. Make it spear out everywhere. Just like normal lava. Hmm. Don't you say? And over here on the ground, like what I done right over there, to make it look more realistic, just bring it out to be much more flatter. Okay, this might take a much more skilled builder to do this, but if you if you think you can do this, why don't you give a shot and tell me let me know down in the comments below. Yeah, like right over there. Hmm. Mm. Okay. That should be fine enough. About that. And then, now the rest, you might need your magma blocks. Because if you do not put lava, they do have magma. Which is just basically lava that's. Yeah, let me just. Keep quiet, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about this. And again, this really takes a lot of time and patience. So, and about these campfires, which are not under lava, you can just remove them. This one right over here. Yeah. As you can see, with your magma blocks, you can do that. And then just cover up all the way to the side. And remember, this doesn't really take specific numbers or anything. It's just... Just do it. Yeah. Simple like that. Okay. Yeah. And then you can take some soil soil to make it look more like a mega scarier vibe. 
yeah. Dig out some blocks. Try to here. Yeah. And not the soil. But anyway, like that. And then you got your soul soil right over there with some coarse dirt to make it look more gay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you can take it to dead bushes, put on the coarse, put on the coarse dirt, and just fill it up everywhere like this. Okay, this one is not really more for house, this is more for the video. Yeah, and then right over there. It should be done. And note that you could also put some uh, campfires under your magma blocks to give it more of a better look. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Right over there, you can put your obsidian. And then you're done. It's there. So simple. And with your nether rack, put on the soil sand. Right over there. Yeah, right over there. Okay, that was a wild one, but um, if you understood, well, yeah, it's kind of good. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below which was your favorite build right over here. And as for me, it's been Eureka, and I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.